my name is Yan Arun Premanan. I'm working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering, Sri Vengadeshwara College of Engineering. I have uh, attended the certification course for uh, phase equilibrium thermodynamics. Uh, as you all know, it's a, thermodynamics is a very important course of chemical engineering. So I wanted to get certified in that particular uh, module. The course was actually very easy and the lectures were very interesting. And uh, at the end of the lectures, there were also tutorials and many solved problems. It was very useful in the perspective of as a faculty as well as a student. So it will be useful for me when I am teaching the course as well as uh, for the student per perspective when they are writing for GATE or so many competitive exams this course will be very useful. So I found the examination very easy and the facilities provided in the examination center was also very good. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. I like the situation, I like all the procedural things and all and uh, the paper was like it's, it was okay but uh, yeah I like the paper thing but yeah the preparation was not up to the mark my preparation was not up to the mark but the paper was like not hard total yeah there should be some way by which we can just get our uh, things at a glance like uh, all the like when you see the courses which we have registered we have to go to the profile and then we have to go down and search it so when i was new to that i was not able to search where was my uh, course which i registered so that was stretch about our mind for that much time but then uh, if it's like half an hour, half an hour, then it's fine. It was a good experience with MPT. Uh, I'm a second year uh, student at IIT Madras. Uh, the course which I appeared for was Introduction to Data Analytics. Uh, I found the paper to be very conceptual, uh, just like the course. And uh, it's, uh, it's very uh, beneficial to the people to be able to get access to such content for free i mean this uh, this this uh, initiative is amazing yeah uh, i actually wanted to learn this course uh, as fast as possible i mean there are uh, electives i can take but uh, that's only possible for the later semesters i wanted to get through this as fast as possible yeah i wrote fundamentals of databases it was good we need some kind of uh, materials to prepare actually the videos and uh, slides are not enough we feel Arnab Bhattacharya, okay. his, his lectures are good, okay. uh, video is good, but then for preparation, the, those videos and uh, alone are not enough. Okay. If we have any materials, it will be even more good, because no, for watching videos, we don't find time. That's why. I have attended a law of thermodynamics course. Uh, I have studying in college uh, this course for more than uh, two semesters, okay. but uh, I, I'd, uh, I can't understand the concepts clearly. Okay. But in this, uh, the video lectures are very superb, outstanding video lectures. The IIT professors are simply outstanding. So I, I have, I think, I hope I, I have written the exams well. Suggestions, maybe the solutions of uh, week assignment can be uploaded in the portal itself. Okay. Uh, for searching the solution, I have to go for a Google Drive and uh, it's a uh, time consuming. It's been great that I came to know about this course. Like it was just so convenient. Like for about three months um, the the videos that they uploaded were excellent the coaching was excellent we could you know upload the assignments from home and now we are just come here for the exam uh, fundamental health research i came to know out from the hindu yeah. and um, from then on the, the the entire process was very smooth the the coaching that happened in the videos was very excellent and um, even through online we could ask questions there was um, you know immediate feedback from the team so it was uh, overall it was uh, a great experience for me i don't uh, right now i'm doing a course on health research fundamentals and, and i don't know i'm not aware if they are also offering an advanced uh, course in health research and uh, if if there is uh, such a program it would be good if they can you know announce through various medias and if they can have our contact numbers and get back to us and even if they are introducing many new programs if they let us know it would be good, very good okay. I, I am a, a yoga professional and uh, I, I was engaged as part of you know Ayush group like I was engaged in health research so um, as part of my MPhil and I also plan to do PhD so I plan to do research and um, this was something like um, an, an extra knowledge that I got came from I am a doctor actually I'm doing a health research fundamentals topic that is the only topic for a medical field available uh, I did it just to improve my uh, uh, knowledge about the research activities.
and the course was very useful and very simple and uh, uh, understandable also both the uh, written material as well as the audio audio visual very good and extensive and complete uh, maybe uh, while doing the video uh, simultaneously projecting uh, the powerpoint will be more important than the focusing the person who is speaking because uh, most of the time uh, focus we can audible thing is you can hear even without seeing the speakers no therefore while uh, doing the speech more importance should be given to the powerpoint uh, picture is of powerpoint rather than the person who speaks your yeah, slides is separate no when you are going through the slides you are not able to look into the videos no background is playing but uh, the focus is more on the speakers rather than the powerpoint i am dr jay kumar uh, i am writing a mptel exam over oh, object oriented analysis and design this is the first time i have appeared for this exam mptel exam really what are the video i have seen in the mptel portal is very useful he has a, the professor pratim partha pratim das he is a professor for it professor he clearly given a guidance how to prepare for the exam like uh, you have to take the assignment seriously okay go through the uh, description about the assignments and uh, refer the videos this is enough to and plus uh, refer the textbook uh, grady buich for oed if you refer both the thing means definitely you will get a 100% mark in the impetel exam that's what he told i strictly follow the guidelines uh, i refer the assignment seriously and also i submit the assignments every week without referring the textbook i see the video then i will go through the assignment without googling i will give a reply sometimes i got negative results also that i am not bothered about all those things only refer the ppt and uh, try to sort out the assignments so that, that's why uh, out of uh, 20 i got sometimes i got 15 sometimes i got 10 marks i'm not bothered okay i'm not ask anybody see, since i handle a subject various time i do by the answer by myself so really that uh, i thank the government for this type of initiation as uh, every teacher has to they must attend the, this type of exam because uh, we have to role model to the students because we simply ask student to get a, get a good marks but we have to show ourselves first okay as a best teacher to the students that's why uh, as a teacher i attend the exam and i hope i'll get a very good marks in the exam and uh, regarding that uh, videos uh, uh, they clearly explain the concept okay they clearly explain the concept uh, and also they given a suitable example actually i thought that i handled the oed subject very well but i was still the ppt only i know that the iit is very far level from us so i would like to improve to that level in the future days also i thank the people to encourage thank you a very good suggestion given the portal itself those who want to get the good marks refer the portal refer the tips given by the professors who handle the subject definitely will get a very good mark that's my opinion and i registered actually for three courses out of so much of interest but then you can write exam only for two courses so today morning i have taken introduction to data analytics and today afternoon i'll be taking introduction to r software and also some of my students have come for this uh, test i've brought them along with me uh, actually the exam was fine it was kind of easy than i expected you didn't tell me which exam Uh, I had uh, taken the course for uh, introduction to C programming, and it was really good. I think there was a problem with my net because every time I uh, it keeps buffering. No, my uh, sir, I check it only on my laptop. So no, I don't check it on my mobile. But there's not a problem in that. So I think it was the lectures were kind of clear, and I never really asked any questions. It's very useful for. Uh, for research purposes we wrote uh, program in c++ uh, most of the questions came from the assignments what we did so it's easy and uh, video we watch the video lecture videos it is useful for so the way they have improved uh, from the past three years has been excellent the way they are conducting the exams the courses everything the material everything they are providing is for free it is like very good appreciable I wrote an introduction to machine learning course. Teaching learning experience was very good. Uh, there are tutorial sessions which are for every lecture series while ending them. Okay. So for every week there will be a tutorial describing what uh, theoretical and practical examples. Are. So that's been good. Actually, I have completed my engineering, so it's like uh, it's like the basis for me. 
it's good so if you want to change your field you know this is a very good option like the certificates is very valuable in, in the industry so i can think it's a very good uh, choice to go with courses and all I'll like put more number of courses on various verticals so that be very appreciable like in the industry like software suppose we take upon like teaching an android development or something then courses would be very helpful to the people for all it doing jobs uh, i just wrote laws of thermodynamics At the time management was a bit difficult uh, because uh, we had to manage both uh, college course and the nptel course other than that everything was fine the course accessibility was really good and the uh, assignment was really helpful and the question uh, like we could ask the faculty the questions directly so that was really helpful we are in a digitalized world now so we have to get used to it uh, my name is raghav arvin and uh, i'm working as a business analyst in amazon e-commerce company yeah so this is the first time i'm taking this particular course and i think that's okay because amazon is known for pioneering and uh, we always have to find time to uh, you know invest in ourselves and learn new skills and all that and uh, it madras is one of the brand names that everyone wants to you know accompany with and study and learn something so that's why i thought I it was a course that you had I took uh, introduction to data analytics online how it's going to help you in your it's definitely going to help me a lot because i am uh, in the analytics domain i just started analytics career and uh, this will help me a lot i complete my engineering uh, and uh, i worked as a quality analyst uh, mainly on the six sigma side and all that and right now i am into complete data analytics so yeah i just started data analytics and that's why i thought this statistics and all those things would help me out what's your opinion on the lecture is and I think lectures are very good because uh, I've taken uh, educate I mean courses uh, with other platforms as well but the way the lectures are explaining is very good they are uh, starting from the scratch and uh, they're not assuming that people know something right so uh, they know that people I mean the candidates are from multiple backgrounds and uh, they the way the concepts are being explained are very good actually yeah but actually tries to motivate us to keep us engaged throughout the course itself because i've seen many people taking I mean, initiating some course and uh, signing up but uh, they will drop off in between because lectures will not be proper or uh, lectures will go in a different direction these guys will be having some different exceptions and all i did not feel like that in in petal so it was pretty amazing i i don't think anything uh, i feel like that but i think some real uh, uh, life scenarios uh, the exam case studies that could have been more better uh, to understand uh, the concepts i think uh, the way it is explained is very good uh, because i believe in the fact that there is always room for the improvement so i think there is something that we can do uh, by incorporating many real life case studies to the assignments as well and also to the questions but the way the questions were uh, in the examination was actually very good because it did not follow a typical you know conventional template of you know just inputting the formulas and inputting the values in the formula just get the or it was not like that so you can answer the question correctly only if you know the concept so that's something i liked the course i'm doing is currently is marketing research and analysis and uh, what i would say to the students or the professionals everybody is that everybody can go and venture out at the nptel and this is very important for their uh, knowledge expansion as well and it is very important for their uh, uh, curriculum or in future also so everybody can go and in fact uh, put themselves uh, some kind of an hours some kind of a time to invest in to getting more about uh, the courses over here it's fantastic really. yeah the courses are designed very well in front uh, uh, they have given an ample time and uh, uh, the mock tests are there the assignments are there if a, if an incumbent uh, uh, puts in well time for that i think come in he would get or he or she would get uh, a very well prepared course for that stuff i think what i would see is like think the certain assignments are already i think it's not that much dynamic people can go and see the answers for pre assignments as well so if if the if the uh, professors or the the team provide a new uh, set of assignments i think it would be even more competitive in nature this is anusha i'm a housewife and i'm writing uh, two examinations in the morning i have written uh, introduction to programming in c and today uh, afternoon i'm going to write uh, c++ these two courses are very quite useful while sitting in front uh, in home we are uh, i'm able to uh, read everything uh, within this uh, ma- those materials it kept i mean it captures everything the concept was very good and the teaching was uh, quite useful actually i'm writing python exam uh, i heard that python is very much important nowadays but we don't have python in our college 
so that uh, I have studied is very useful. Um, I am a B.Tech student in Computer Science, so the course that I have taken is Introduction to Modern Application Development. So um, I spoke with my friends in the morning batch today. So it's a pretty easy paper, and plus the course is easy, and the contents provided by Napel was also good. And the forum is pretty useful to discuss your doubts out and stuff like that. So yeah, is that uh, I want uh, so much people to have awareness about this. As I, this is my final year, but uh, just now I got the chance to do the first. Course. So much people like me don't have awareness. Even though I told that I'm going to do that, they thought, how can I do? How it is possible? Like that. So much, uh, so much people. Uh, more than no one. This my. I'm the only girl from my college. I'm coming. Today I'm writing the exam for this course called Biology for Engineers and Other Non-Biologists, and uh, it's been a pretty nice course. Fairly simple. But uh, since I've not had biology in my class two, so it became a little hard for me to handle. But yes, this is my first NPTEL course, and I'm really for looking forward to give its exam here and see how it turns out to be. Uh, I pursued for OOAD, Object Oriented Analysis and Design. I'm doing CSC Engineering, so I thought of doing some extra uh, lectures, attending it. I don't worry about result. That's why maybe I I seem to be like confident. So I just wanted to gain some knowledge apart from the college. Go yeah, the it was up to my expectation, and I could uh, through the uh, videos. If I saw the videos, then I could solve the assignment also. I already did a course uh, in this itself, uh, programming in C plus plus. I wished it. I liked it so much, so I wish to pursue it further on. Uh, I think assignment questions should be more. I am a bit confident on this also, but I feel that if more questions would be there, I will be more confident to attend today's exam. That's All the professors are good. Even one can persuade two to three courses at a time. I feel so. There is no problem with the course. Uh, sometimes some issues used to come while submitting assignment because, uh, like, I'm a, uh, simultaneously I'm doing for soft skills also. So I their subjective assignments are there. I couldn't upload those assignments. I don't know why. I can't attach the folder. So due to that, uh, I'm losing my marks in assignment. No? Yes, I did. I didn't got any replies. So I'm just waiting for that. Actually, I'm going to give an exam of uh, theory of computation by uh, Tiwari sir, and uh, it's a very good course. I feel that it covers all the important things needed for the theory of computation, and the way he gives the lecture is very good. I feel it. It is. It is the best way. Uh, Teacher can teach a student. I like it very much. Yeah, it was very easily accessible and it was very timely done and in a very proper systematic manner, which we, should, we could understand easily. I have taken the operating systems and theory of computation course, and I took it because uh, I'm applying for masters this year and it's a prerequisite. It's a prerequisite for my masters course degree, so that's why the course was designed very well. I mean, the assignments were helpful. All of it was good. The exam was slightly tough. We we are actually from uh, we are attempting courses from computer science, but neither of us is from computer science. So that way the pattern of uh, questions itself was different for the first time. But the fact that they were still designed in such a way that it's not really a MCQ question that you can either know or not. It's not information based. They still make you work out and learn, and then solve the question. So that is something that helped us know the question. Know the material even if you wouldn't do that on your own so mm -hmm. that's a benefit maybe you could actually inter improve the interactivity between uh, the people who are conducting the course and the people who are taking the course uh, it is there to an extent but then uh, i mean uh, maybe i mean there are a bunch, there's a pool of common doubts or something which get generated over the years i am giving imad that is introduction to modern application development building apps and web operating system it's like the basics of like when the operating system started or uh, at that time what was the architecture and organization that is what we study in that the faculty was nice i think it's a bit slow i like used to watch it at two speed on youtube but yeah it was fine uh, it is a third year course i'm a second year so i'm doing something which is not being taught i don't know right because the courses i'm doing is actually a third year course and i'm a second year so i haven't done them in college uh, introduction to research and uh, it's one of the most uh, sought after and it's a mandatory course which is like if you want to get an mtech degree or a phd degree according to ugc rules and norms you have to write that course and uh, I'm actually happy about the way the course was conducted and also the assignments that were given and uh, 
that actually help like uh, usually in the PhD schedule we are actually caught up with a lot of things so the way it was taught I'm actually happy I'm actually hoping for a more amount of example oriented coursework next year I mean uh, only one week was a little bit uh, they discussed about everything so I would like it to be a little bit more engineering related and more modeling related like this was a bit more uh, tending to students who conduct uh, uh, experimental based research as compared to someone like me who does uh, modeling based research nevertheless it, it was still useful but uh, yeah this is what i felt so it would be really helpful if they include the thing like how to write a research proposal because even after write uh, getting a mtech or a phd degree we are asked to write a research proposal and it would be really helpful because this part was a little missing and uh, even while we are uh, applying for funds or uh, applying for scholarships even during phd that if it's been told us by the same professors it would be really helpful so i am going to write about introduction to programming c so the course was awesome the like the exercises and all those things were cool the assignments given to us was also uh, like what you required for that particular course so the teacher the guide who gave us through also was good enough and uh, for a beginner it is the best course to start with level of preparation yeah i am up to the 100% because right now i completed the college so it's just that in spare time need to complete all the courses whatever is pending so the level of preparation is like i knew all the things just to give a brush up and complete the i have a certification in my hand that's why i was doing this next goal is basically i'll try as much as possible courses completed by neptil and since it's very very good platform for complete any good courses plus the course guide as well as the assignments given to us makes us to complete all the basic concepts regarding the course and it will be helpful for our future life there's nothing is the answer because everything is up to the mark it's just that they extend the date uh, only one concern with uh, neptil is because they extend the date for ev every assignment till now i have attended many courses and they have done for every assignment it's just that if it was intimidated like a google calendar or something like that if they have a link because they have already uh, have a tie up with google's uh, api for gmail login similarly if we can do calendar what will happen is we'll get a notification for one day which is the last day of assignment so that if we missed for the rest of the days we can give that i want to yes. thank you <laughs> for uh, taking this initiative for uh, helping uh, all of us why because uh, even in corporate life i feel that learning should continue i am from corporate uh, learning should uh, continue every time and uh, this kind of platform uh, you know help us to do whatever we like apart from um, our own co uh, core work i am from mechanical engineer i am here to write an exam from computer science so that is the good thing of mptl and i thank for that so my name is b kannadasan i am working as assistant professor in uh, bs abdurrahman university i am in teaching here for last 8 years i have chosen geotechnical laboratory new courses this courses is very useful new innovative methods and very useful one uh, new i am teaching now geotechnical laboratory it's uh, useful to my students also it related to practical oriented questions and this new course is very useful is for us yeah because we are teaching uh, students to practical in practical so we need to explain in depth so for that nptel courses iit courses lectures they explain very neatly so for that we are choosing this courses i have attended in iot internet of things it's uh, it's based on how to use and how to perform the languages i gain some knowledge from this course i before it i doesn't know what is iot and what is the language but after it i gain from gain something about it. yeah it was a good experience to write this exam biomedical nanotechnology it's just developing so in the future it will be useful for us so it's an extra added point nothing more uh, information can be given like like in detail more in detail actually i have done two courses sir one uh, morning i written my i have written market research and analysis now developing soft skills. actually initially they are my university they encourage i am from satyabha my university so they encourage now after that we are also interested so i, I applied for two papers so just uh, for knowledge sake <laughs> yeah it is very easy so the method of uh, learning is very easy when you go for this uh, video conferencing and you go for ppt is quite easy and and also we don't find time reading books no this is quite very easy i opted for uh, health research fundamentals <coughs> I'm basically a dentist. Since I'm not into practice, I thought I should do something to keep me updated. 
and this course uh, did what I expected. Uh, there is no direct link but uh, something related to health research I was interested on that line. Yeah, it was very useful. They were also interactive and the doubts were clear then and there. It was highly helpful. I think I should start a research study. Hi, I am Praveen. I'm doing MSc in Applied, MSc in Applied Geology in Anna University. Uh, this is my first experience in a NPTEL and uh, I did the online course of uh, Digital Image Processing. Uh, nice, uh, nice experience. Because I'm doing a geology, so image processing will be useful in remote sensing data. Okay, actually there is no core subject in geology in the NPTEL course. So include include some of the core geology courses. Apart from that, it was very good. I was able to finish within one hour. So I just waited uh, for my submit button to get enabled. Attempted for database and management system. Overall, the course was very nice. Even though I felt little harder when doing the assignment, but uh, after all, when I say it, overall, after completing the full course, it was very much easier. And um, okay, it was um, more than I expected. I found answers. I thought I might uh, not not get many answers here, but I did. It was really easy. Not that much hard, and it was good. Well, uh, I work in Cognizant. I am a six plus years experienced person and uh, I'm trying to get into business analysis role so that's one of the reasons I took up this uh, introduction to data analytics course. I believe this is out there in the world that uh, a lot of online courses provided by a lot of companies or partners are not valued that much but then since there's a IIT logo attached to this so you know the there, there's a recognized value because there's a big person standing behind your validation of your studying that's one of the major reasons that i took up this online course on the forum uh, I, I have been interacting on the forum quite a lot and what i would like to say is that the uh, the energy is really nice and but then towards the end of the uh, whole period if if they could directly give answers this is a honest feedback i understand that you know, when you give direct answers and explanations you are not pushing the person to learn too much but then when there's a time constraint and when you are like revising topics and it's it's okay to point out that you no know, you're wrong because this is the answer so this is one of the things that i feel uh, because i invested a lot of time in, in like very basic problems like uh, i have not been studying much for six years now so this is my first time that i have studied so uh, a little help on what answers could be given. I am actually writing for the introduction to our software. Maybe that was the, my, my faculty suggested me to go for it. And now, based upon like what I've done so far, uh, I'm interested in uh, data analyzing after doing the, this R software. No, that was easy actually. The, maybe the introduction was easy. Maybe when I get into the subject, maybe I'll, real, I'll know the real depth of it. I was doing my IMAT course here. Yeah? So like the paper, the, the, the way the paper was set, like there were some tricky questions in the middle. It was completely good. It was a nice exposure. Right? Morning examination, that is uh, ultra high voltage lines. Huh? It was good, bit easy, uh, except for one session, section. Um, there were a lot of mistakes actually. I finished my MA. I'm preparing for net exams. So I thought I'll take literature for competitive exams so that it will supplement my next preparation. Because uh, the course instructor, she had touched upon all the major topics. So, I mean, along with my net preparations, like the classes that I'm taking, this was this was very useful. She had, uh, yeah, she had touched upon all the major periods. Uh, I once wanted to learn something about translation theory. That's when I chanced upon NPTEL. I didn't know about it before then. But it's really good. The course material is very good. Actually working in Satibam University as associate professor. And uh, now today I have attended uh, the exam on uh, psychology actually. Because there was no course available in architecture direct. But we have uh, environmental psychology as a uh, subject. And uh, behavior is also a subject in uh, social space. So based on that, I choose the subject. It's very systematic and we are also into teaching profession. So we know the way in which the delivery is done. So it was very helpful. We learned a lot in the process. So I am writing C, uh, C program, so basic C program. I prepare from college only. Uh, more information we know about that particular C language. Now, now Nowadays C language is more important for that B.Tech. So that's why I'm writing this. Actually, recently we are uh, concentrating a lot on outcome-based education. 
So I wanted to know more in depth of regarding that. Started for introduction to mobile application development, and this was my first NPTEL course. It was quite amazing experience uh, while learning the course through eight weeks of modules, and the video tutorials were very good, and it was, and it proved very effective for me to enhance my knowledge in, in. In my field which I want to pursue right, in future. So it covered all the contents and I have gained so much knowledge. And the exam was also very nice. Uh, it helped. The assignments were given for, to us every week so they helped us, it helped me to clear the exam so it was very nice. I appeared for that uh, in, uh, introduction to modern application de development. Actually, I was working in uh, LIC in uh, software development only. I, I've been working in the IT for 20 years. Actually, we didn't come for as a formal education. We didn't come. Uh, by virtue of our experience and practi uh, practices, we are working. So we just uh, try to appear this course to know what we where we stand. And uh, of course, uh, we are not uh, lagging behind. We are somewhat. Uh, uh, coping up with the new trends. Actually, I wrote exam on introduction to R software. Uh, it was nice experience because uh, actually for uh, R software, we need R studio software with us. All assignments we used to submit with the help of R software. But uh, that is actually easy. When you do your assignment, I will have my R studio in my sir laptop so all the questions i'll just copy and paste it in our studio it will give the answer so from multiple choice it is easy to pick up the correct one that is not a big thing but when we write the exam we are not provided with our studio so that gives us confidence on a particular topic and uh, afternoon i gave an exam on biostatistics and design of experiments last uh, uh, time also i took up introduction to biostatistics we are totally non statistician and we are not from mathematics background so if uh, um, such professors who are taking class if they could make it still simple it will be very useful for us because we find it difficult Mostly I will say I have written my exam only based on my knowledge, whatever I know. I didn't get much information from the coursework, what I have done. But still, that's what wherever we find it difficult, it is our, from our end also we have to put some more effort. That we, sometimes we don't find time, that is the reason. But experience with R was wonderful. My aim is at least 10 I should get. Yeah, I have not satisfied with this, at least 10, but uh, that's what I told you, know, we are from different background, we don't have much of related courses for us. And uh, only two exams per day, that is also a limitation. Or you can conduct two days so that we can do four exams per uh, three, uh, three weeks program. Three months we can do four. Four. I am ready to do, but the, there is a limitation. Actually, I registered for three courses. Then I found that there is a limitation. Only morning one exam, afternoon one exam. So I in half away I quit another exam, another course. For each and every um, lesson, they gave a handout, and those questions just came from the handouts itself. So nothing. Uh, over and above what was provided to us. I, ch I chose uh, Python for this NAPTEL exam and I am from SRM University, CSC department student. Yeah, the exam was nice, questions were not that uh, difficult actually, but yeah, up to the mark and they taught us well and everything was good. Yeah, even they, the uh, these staff members were also helping and everything went on well. Just I wanted to enhance my experience in programming and being a CSE student, I must know all these languages, so I chose this Python. This was a difficult course in comparison to the last two courses I had taken, but it is a good experience. It is a good exposure, something we don't learn in college. I attended it for the first time, but uh, it was interesting, a bit uh, tough, more practice is needed, but it was overall, it was good. Yes. Miss anything. Last few videos I missed, but yes, I attend almost I viewed every video mainly because of uh, placement uh, requirements. Yeah. Actually, the examination uh, what we have written is quite interesting actually 
as we are a staff and uh, i am working in satyabhama university but uh, whenever we, it comes to an examination point uh, like students he used to sit and calculate everything so it was fine actually it is good and all the certification courses uh, essential and it's good actually even staff are learning more and we are also practicing many things so that the outcomes we can even tell to students how we are doing all those things we can help students so it's just a motivating uh, it's nice course that i was attempting was very good and especially that tanmay gopal who taught us was very awesome and uh, the way he teaches uh, it creates more interest in learning and in order to get into depth also we are getting interested uh, it was very good the course was outline also was very good and exam also it is also good uh, not uh, too difficult not too easy okay good that is um, uh, mean medium level that is actually good and course outline is very good and we are expecting more number of courses like this to be held in uh, on npt i attempted uh, introduction to data analytics in the morning and in the evening sh evening shift i attempted data uh, data structure algorithms using python experience was uh, uh, the course was meant for the it was pretty basic the only thing i would like to add is the number of practice questions that they gave in the weekly assignments that was very less so that practice that uh, the practice was less but the paper and all it was very good i am vignesh shorn working in assistant professor in srm university so triple e department i am working so i have taken the course of basic electrical engineering and next month i will be i am going to write the control system engineering so as far as about the course its course design is very good and one thing is that uh, some solutions are solved but uh, some uh, i mean uh, some derivative they are not giving derivative part only just the solution then the answer is given some questions are not uh, derived clearly so that they can do it but uh, mostly in control systems uh, they are doing basic electrical course is uh, very good because uh, the professor is explaining the each and every concept how to do the problems so in that way the solution videos is given separately but it is not in pdf format in a control system means there is in pdf format but the explanation is not there how to do the problems but uh, lecturing what it is given here somewhat is not not related to the problems so some lecture videos are given but examples are somewhat uh, uh, tougher than the thing what they are solved in the example problems so this is the case Um, and the one thing is that they can reduce the fees exam fees so 1000 rupees they are having so they can go for 500 or below 500 because uh, each and every semesters uh, they are uh, doing online courses so they can reduce the fees this is my first attempt idan or modal attempt na last week register the last summer vacation register pannina ana idho reason na attend panna mudiyala ஆனால் நிறைய எங்கிட்ட சீனியர் சீர் கேட்டப்போ இந்த எக்ஸாம்லாம் எழுதாத செர்டிஃபிகேட்லாம் ஒன்று அவ்வளோ யூஸ் இருக்காது அப்படின்னு சொன்னாங்க இதான வேணாம் என் நான் வந்து நான் எழுதுவேன் எனக்கு செர்டிஃபிகேட் தேவைப்படும் நாங்கள் எழுதணும் ஆனால் நான் இங்கே வரும்போது போ நினச்சேன் அவ்வளோ பேர் வரமாட்டாங்க போல இருக்குது காலியாக இருக்குன்னு ஆனால் இங்கே வந்து லைன் லைனாக இருக்காங்க ஸோ அவ்வளோ பேர் இதுக்கு வந்து கிரேஸாக இருக்காங்க ஸோ வந்து கண்டிப்பாக நான் நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் வந்து நிறைய கோர்சஸ் எழுதுவேன் நான் வந்து என்னோடய டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் வைஸ் எடுத்துருக்கேன் ப்ராஜெக்ட் பிளானிங் அண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல்னு நிறைய பேர் நான் இப்போ தேர்ட் இயர் தான் ஆனால் நிறைய பேர் சொன்னாங்க இதெல்லாம் வந்து நீ வந்து ஃபைனல் இயர் இருக்கும் எடுக்கணும் இல்லை இல்லை நான் இப்போ எடுத்துக்கிறேன் இட் எப்போ படித்தாலும் நான் படிக்க நம்ம கற்றுக்கிறது தான் அதனால் வந்து நான் இப்போ எழுதியிருக்கேன் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் நிறைய கோர்ஸ் பார்ட்டன் பண்ணுவேன் திஸ் இஸ் மை ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் தட் ஐ ஹவ் ரிட்டன் டிஜிட்டல் எக்ஸாம் த்ரூ ஐ ஐம் ஃப்ரம் வெல்லூர் அண்ட் ஐ கேம் ஹியர் இட் வாஸ் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ஐ ஹோப் ஐ வில் டூ மோர் கோர்சஸ் இன் என் பிடிஎல் யா இட் வாஸ் குட் ஐ ஐ டென் மிஷின் லேர்னிங் ஸோ ஐ ப்ரிப்பேர் பெட்டர் ஸோ it was not much difficult and not not easy it's actually too complex full mathematical stuff it is an actually in computer science course but it's fully mathematical stuff but it was easy like i managed the exam yeah i i, I attended a machine learning course yeah yeah it was quite good the lecture videos and uh, basically the one taught by anirban santara the uh, uh, assist teaching assistant he taught us really well like uh after every week he revised all the concepts so just before the exam i just pressed up all the uh, all the all his videos and very very excellent maybe i am one of the oldest uh, participants i suppose at 52 uh, uh, really uh, very useful okay. like finish strong i suppose in the exam as well uh, i mad i have lot of ideas probably the doing it online continuously because lot of things can be improved basically uh, my point is to take it to 
uh, you know the awareness of the program is very low probably uh, that has to be increased uh, to make it more useful one more thing is the pre requisites need to be uh, you know completed before i could not have time to finish my pre requisites a lot of pre requisites are there it will starting from scratch it requires uh, time probably i will be sharing that with a specific uh, you know program feedbacks i wrote biostatistics and design of experiment so like uh, this is an experience where nptel gives you personal attention uh, we are able to just read the things and listen to videos and then correlated with real life experiences like there are so much real life experience already correlated in and it gives like personal uh, na uh, personal details of lot of things and we are able to have a clear idea of whatever that is thought and if you have any problems also like the forum uh, when we put it in the forum the answer is repeat, uh, like immediately given so it helps us a lot in clearing up doubts and everything so uh, it's a good experience writing nptel and the exam was very uh, conceptual and uh, very basic questions so it was easy to do and it's okay it was great actually i gave two exam today one was uh, imad modern application development and the other one was uh, python so both went uh, good okay actually uh, ma'am session was excellent i have done uh, machine learning uh, it was very useful uh, ma'am explained very nicely tutorial was useful everything is okay questions are as expected whatever ma'am taught uh, we did uh, completely i wrote uh, two exams uh, one is uh, cryptology introduction to cryptology the other one is introduction to machine learning it's introduction to course and then it covers uh, those uh, basic pillars okay and it was deep enough in fact uh, one simple word even those who are taking the subject uh, they need to attend these courses just to, so as to sharpen their own uh, skills that is one thing second thing um, we may be following one book one kind of thinking these uh, courses may be complementary in some sense so it expands your even if you are a teacher it expands your uh, understanding so that is one thing It's very sensible if you attend all the assignments sincerely surely you can hit it so that that is the lesson so, uh, and of course uh, it is not too broad okay so most important points are covered in a way that is good okay if it is not exhausted so those are the things in a way nptel in itself uh, i would look at it only as a intermediate step because the world is moving on to uh, you know critical thinking not just data knowledge data knowledge is already available everywhere in the net uh, people are going beyond that so this is acting as a bridge between where we were yesterday and where we want to be tomorrow Uh, happy to have participated in the process so i attended this phase equilibrium thermodynamics course uh, and uh, it was a great learning experience and uh, taking exam was also good so that uh, i can judge myself how much i learned so overall it was a good experience yes. quality of lectures are good uh, i think the uh, the lecture notes uh, can be given like i mean this lecture notes were uh, uh, actually uploaded quite late uh, last week only so they could be uploaded a bit early and the quality can be better uh, i mean uh, in, in terms of uh, the content uh, 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 the distribution of uh, topics and all uh, but it was good uh, overall it was good any of your friends also were attempting this uh, process um, or not that i how know. did you come to know okay uh, well i came to know through friends only last year and uh, then i wanted to follow some courses in uh, chemical uh, thermodynamics so i went uh, on the website and i found this course uh, interesting i did uh, stereochemistry course it was a eight week course and uh, it was nice they gave assignments and we worked out the assignments and uh, the video lectures were very helpful and, uh, the paper was also very it was very good questions were a little bit of tricky so we have to think a lot and work out a lot so uh, actually we got some additional sheets also to work out university has motivated us to do so we everyone has registered after that we got motivated because of the subject and actually we got interested because uh, 
we used to tell students that uh, always you have to cultivate interest in the subject so after registration without interest we cannot do anything like that. so we cultivated that and we worked hard really actually today when we yeah, came they... <laughs> inside i felt really uh, uh, like out of uh, the thing because we were everybody were students uh, everybody was students like i i thought okay <laughs> like we are uh, uh, We are, I also feel like student actually. But okay. while we are entering, so many students That's are standing very, that. But it was very nice after a very very long time. It was like a very good experience writing an exam, and uh, till the last minute, uh, till that one or two minutes, we submit the click uh, submit button. Okay. It was really a tension. <laughs> whether it is a correct or not. Actually, I am basically government auditor working for CAG office. so i um, we are going in the process of uh, big data analytics and all that so i went for data analytics and r programming software and this both the courses are uh, really useful and uh, interesting and the class they have taken and all are really uh, helpful useful and uh, we could do the exam very well well uh, i opted uh, introduction to modern application development it was very good because within 8 weeks uh, within the duration of 8 weeks i was able to develop a, an app so i feel this would be really useful for everyone so, and the exam was also not it wasn't very tough and it wasn't very easy it was modern so i feel it is worth we have registered our college in the last batch so last batch many of our students also took up the exam now also they are taking up many courses we were interested in doing almost all all courses but unfortunately our syllabi is not to that uh, all levels so most of our staff also interested they said it's very good uh, being our arts college is been introduced this kind of earlier it was only for engineering so now it's been to the arts stream we people feel that it's great honor and privilege that uh, you have taken up also as part of your uh, nptel the course is also very good uh every uh, subject is good but a few things uh, the presentation given by the north indian professors are not that clear um because it's uh, most of our staff and students they felt it that not like uh, general english if you could say dr ravichandran is so clear so compared to the north indian professors if they could be little more uh, clear enough i feel it's technically it's okay but uh, the pronunciation and other things differs so we couldn't follow it certain things i went for fundamentals of database systems and the content was really good and um, the examination the level of examination was much more than standard means what i expected it was really nice this is not my first time with online courses so uh, i'm already uh, too much uh, been with online course so it was a good experience although it was from iits the lecture was too good and the content was uh, means really standard one thing is uh, they used to means those websites uh, those we they are from foreign they are having the content from uh, some foreign universities means the research papers they used to publish from that sites content is there and in this course also they try to manage uh, up to that level python is this is a computer related course um, it is really good the videos the video content are uh, very good and they explained uh, clearly and very slowly the content is overall good uh, actually i did this uh, project management course uh, it was really well no, actually it was sort of a revision for me because uh, i was working in the field and then i recently have come into academics so for me it was very quite useful because uh, i was uh, not in touch with academics for quite a long time and this course really helped me i attempted the modern application development course it was really nice they taught a lot of important things and i've been interested in this field for a lot of time and to see a course that's designed so well and structured so nicely easy to understand and well explained and there was an exam also so that was very good the whole experience is wonderful today i took up uh, mechanical unit operations that is mechanical operations i am chemical engineering basically uh, it was a uh, It was a good question paper actually, and uh, she taught us really well. Uh, the mock test was very useful. Uh, just it's a four week course, just four week course, and then next month I'm taking a, a transport phenomenon. Okay, so this I do this regularly, I, and this is my fourth fourth test I'm taking this. It's a pretty useful course. 
ஆக்சுவலி பிஃபோர் என்டரிங் என்பிடெல் கோர்சஸ் ஐ ஃபீல்ட் ஐ வாஸ் வீக் இன் சி ப்ளஸ் ப்ளஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் அதர் கோர்சஸ் ஆஃப்டர் லேர்னிங் சி ப்ளஸ் ப்ளஸ் இன் என் என்பிடெல் இட் வாஸ் வெரி யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஃபார் மீ ஐ ஐ குட் சால்வ் ஐ குட் திங்க் மோர் தேன் வாட் ஐ ஆக்சுவலி திங்க் அண்ட் இட் வாஸ் வெரி யூஸ்ஃபுல் அண்ட் Uh, solving those assignment questions and the uh, quiz uh, uh, it was uh, it made me to improve myself uh, the videos and the lectures was very clear and i uh, if um, we had any queries uh, they are helping us a lot uh, instead of giving a pdf uh, uh, they can give a course material so it will be very useful for us in learning uh, uh, more concepts uh, because in pdf uh, they are able to come cover some of the portions but uh, if they include course materials uh, it will be useful for us python uh, the course was very nice uh, it was easy to uh, know all the concepts so it was good learning that course uh, this is the first time i take that course uh, first time i'll complete uh, the assignments that will be very useful for me and the exams also very easy i have learned it i can uh, understand what they are saying If you are having doubts means at the time itself you can ask, then they clarify their doubts itself. Mm-hmm.